Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let us have a side-by-side -side comparison of different structures within prokaryotic cell, animal cell and a plant cell. Let's begin with the similarities. The four structures, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, ribosome and cytoskeleton. Let me zoom in this. As you see, plasma membrane in prokaryotic cell, it is seen inner to the cell wall. It is a selectively permeable membrane that is made up of phospholipids and proteins and that maintains a constant internal environment. Plasma membrane is present in a prokaryotic cell. In the case of animal cell, plasma membrane is the outermost membrane or outermost boundary as animal cell is devoid of cell wall. In plant cell, just like a prokaryotic cell, plasma membrane is seen inner to the cell wall. The second structure is the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a fluid matrix or the floor of the cell where all organelles or all structures are embedded. It is present in all types of living cells like prokaryotic cell, animal cell and plant cell. Now the third structure is the ribosome. In the case of prokaryotic cell, as you see, ribosomes are freely distributed in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes are fine complex RNA protein machines that are involved in protein synthesis. In prokaryotes, attached ribosomes are absent. Whereas in the case of animal cell, as you see, ribosomes are present attached to rough endoplasmic reticulum this is attached ribosome then also it is also present freely distributed in the cytoplasm in the case of plant cell also it is same as that of animal cell ribosomes are seen as attached to RER and also freely distributed in the cytoplasm in all these cells the function is protein synthesis ribosomes attached to RER or rough endoplasmic reticulum in animal cell and plant cell. The function is specifically synthesis of secretory proteins or membrane proteins. The next structure is the cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is present in all types of cells. In prokaryotes there are cytoskeleton like structures like FETC protein that is involved in binary fission, then MBL protein, there are many proteins or fine filaments that is responsible for providing the framework inside the cell. Whereas in the case of plant cell and animal cell, cytoskeleton is made up of microtubules, intermediate filaments and microfilaments or actin filaments. The cytoskeleton provides the structural framework of the cell. It is involved in positioning of all the organelles just like the skeletal framework within our body. So let us summarize the similarities between prokaryotic cell, animal cell and plant cell are plasma membrane present in all, cytoplasm present in all, ribosomes are present in all, cytoskeleton is also present in all these three types of cells. Now moving into other structures, nucleoid, nucleus, mitochondria and chloroplast. Let's begin with nucleoid. Nucleoid is present only in prokaryotic cell. In prokaryotes, true nucleus are absent. That means this genetic material is not surrounded by a membrane. The region where genetic material is present in a eukaryotic cell is called the nucleoid region. So this is a nucleoid region. In both plant cell and animal cell, there is a definite nucleus where genetic material is surrounded by a membrane. Next structure is the nucleus. In prokaryotes, true nucleus is absent. Only nucleoid region is present. Whereas in plant cell and animal cell, as you see, true nucleus are present where DNA is surrounded by a membrane. Next structure is a mitochondria. In prokaryotes, membrane-bound organelles are absent. 
mitochondria is absent, there are certain membranous infoldings which is called as mesosomes that is thought to be the site of ATP synthesis. Whereas in the case of animal cell and plant cell, well-developed mitochondria is present, it is double membrane bound and that is involved in ATP synthesis or energy production within the cell. And the next structure is a chloroplast. In prokaryotes, as we said, membrane bound organelles are absent, therefore chloroplast is also absent. In animal cell, chloroplast is absent, whereas in plant cell, chloroplast is present, which is a double membrane bound organelle that is responsible for converting light energy into chemical energy thus making the plants, the producers, providing energy to all other organisms. Or chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis. Now let us have a summary. Prokaryotic cell nucleoid is present whereas in animal cell and plant cell it is absent. Nucleus is present in animal cell and plant cell it is absent in prokaryotic cell. Mitochondrion is present in animal cell and plant cell but absent in prokaryotic cell, whereas chloroplast is absent in both prokaryotic cell and animal cell, but present in plant cell. Now let us take the next four structures, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, peroxisome and lysosome. All these structures are absent in prokaryotic cell. Endoplasmic reticulum is present in both animal cell and plant cell. As you see, this is the RER, this is the SCR here, this is the RER, and this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. RER is involved in protein synthesis, specifically secretory protein synthesis, whereas SCR is involved in lipid synthesis. The next structure is Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus is also present in both animal cell and plant cell. Then this is the Golgi apparatus and these are membranous sacs. This is the Golgi apparatus in plant cell. This is a site, this is a sorting center of the cell where post-translational modification takes place and the proteins are dispatched to different locations inside the cell as vesicles. And the next structure is a peroxisome. Peroxisome is present in animal cell and also present in plant cell. This is a peroxisome. These are compartments that is meant for oxidation reactions where toxic hydrogen peroxide is synthesized and that is degraded by catalase enzyme. So peroxisome is present in both animal cell and plant cell. In plant cell, this peroxisome is also involved in the synthesis of hormones like indolacetic acid, jasmonic acid, etc. Also, it is involved in photorespiration. And the next structure is a lysosome. Lysosome is present only in animal cell. It's a site of intracellular digestion. It's a bag containing digestive enzymes with a pH of close to 5. Whereas lysosomes are absent in plant cell, intracellular digestion is carried out by this large central vacuole or the function of lysosome is carried out by this central vacuole in a plant cell. Let's have a quick summary. Endoplasmic reticulum absent in prokaryotic cell, present in both animal cell and plant cell. Golgi apparatus, same is the case, absent in prokaryotic cell present in both animal cell and plant cell. Peroxisome is also absent in prokaryotic cell, present in both plant cell and animal cell, whereas lysosome is absent in prokaryotic cell, present only in animal cell. It is absent in plant cell. The role of lysosome is carried out by vacuole, the central vacuole in a plant cell. Now the next four structures vesicles and vacuoles, centrosome and cell wall. Vesicles and vacuoles are absent in a prokaryotic cell. Vesicles are present in an animal cell, but a large central vacuole is often absent. If present, it will be very small. Whereas in the case of plant cell, there is a large central vacuole. Often, this is the largest organelle 
that accounts nearly 60 to 70 percent of the total volume of the cell. Centrosome is absent in a prokaryotic cell whereas centrosome is present in an animal cell that is involved uh, in the movement of chromosomes during cell division that is involved in the formation of spindle fibers whereas such a structure is absent in plant cell. Regarding cell wall, cell wall is present in prokaryotic cell. Often the prokaryotic cell is having a peptidoglycan cell wall that is made up of N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid that is cross-linked by amino sugars. In the case of archaebacteria, it's made up of complex lipopolysaccharides. So cell wall is present in a prokaryotic cell. In an animal cell, cell wall is absent. The outermost layer is a plasma membrane, whereas in plant cell, it is having a definite cell wall, which is primarily made of cellulose, and there is hemicellulose and pectin also that provides rigidity, mechanical support, provides shape to the cell. So let us summarize. Vesicles and vacuoles, it is absent in prokaryotic cell, whereas present in both animal cell and plant cells. Vesicles are present in animal cell where there is a large central vacuole in plant cell. Regarding centrosome, centrosome is present only in animal cell absent in both prokaryotic cell and plant cell whereas the cell wall is present in both prokaryotic cell and plant cell whereas absent in animal cell. And the final two structures, flagella and cilia. Flagella is often, flagellum is this fine long thread-like structure that is meant for locomotion or movement that is present in a prokaryotic cell. Whereas flagellum is also present in an animal cell, often unicellular animal cells, that is meant for locomotion. Whereas flagellum is absent in plant cell, rarely present in sperm cells of some ferns, cycads, etc. Generally, it is absent in a plant cell. Regarding cilia, cilia is a short structure compared to flagellum that is absent in a prokaryotic cell, whereas it is present in eukaryotic cells, especially in protists like paramecium. It's also a structure meant for locomotion or movement and cilia is absent in plant cell. So let us summarize. Flagella is present in prokaryotic cell and animal cell generally absent in plant cells, rarely present in some sperm cells of ferns, cycads, etc. Whereas cilia absent in prokaryotic cell, present only in animal cell. This is about the comparison of a prokaryotic cell, animal cell and plant cell. We have given individual videos on prokaryotic cell, animal cell and plant cell of 5 minutes. You can refer that for a detailed explanation. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing this channel. Thank you so much for your support.